Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucid of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Sunday, October 1st, 2017, with a reading for the week of October 1st, which is a Sunday, to October 7th, which is Saturday. So it's the first week of October already. Thank you to all those that like, share, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, as well as those that follow on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr. So thank you to all those that support this channel as well as those that come to me for private sessions. We have information about that in the description box below. There's two links where you can find me. I tweet daily cards, um, a three card reading for Twin Flames and a message from the Divine Masculine to their beloved and the Divine Feminine to their beloved. So you can also follow me on Twitter and get updates of when I'm online doing readings. So there is no booking going on right now. Once I have the website, I'll have the availability for that. But I am a reader and a healer, so you can just come to me in a private session. We can chat and I can do a reading for you. I can look into your dilemmas for you. I can work with you on healing anything that needs to be healed. And in the future, I'll have the ability to have you book a session with me for those things as well. So I want to start off today's reading with the positive affirmation on the Louise Hay I Can Do It calendar. It says, I shoulder my responsibilities with ease. So basically, today is a day where we're starting a new month and... We know that we have winter coming if we're in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's like back to school time, summer's ending, um, fall is starting, and it's time for us to focus on our responsibilities, which we should every day. But knowing that we can shoulder those responsibilities with ease allows us to have more time to dedicate to dreaming and thinking about, you know, the fun things in life and doing fun things in life. So hopefully you get a chance this upcoming week to do something fun rather than just focusing on your responsibilities. I'm shuffling the cards, asking the divine for messages for all twin flames for the upcoming week. This is a general reading, so take the parts that resonate and leave the others behind. Um, if you do find things that resonate and would like a private session of course you can check the description box for the links but i also have a reading that you can order so it's a 15 to 20 minute reading for twin flames it has the same type of outlay or layout i should say divine feminine energy cards divine masculine in your union so that's what i'm going to be talking about for us in general this week as well but i'm using the revelations tro by zach wong in order to do a salt across tarot spread which will give us the situation that will be playing out in the upcoming week all right, or could be playing out. All right, the bottom of the deck energy right now is four of cups. So usually this is a pretty stable energy um, if we're talking about other suits, but the four of cups um, depiction here makes it look like it's not too fun to just have four cups. Everyone wants more love than just four cups. So you may feel that you love yourself, but you may feel that that's not enough for you. And honestly, loving yourself should be enough. But um, we all want to have a companion, and that's why we're on this twin flame journey, because we have identified the fact that there's either someone in the fifth dimension or someone in our physical world that we connect with on a spiritual level that we'd like to have more interactions with. Okay, the situation is the union card. This is the same card as the one, the 11-11 card with the two individuals in the center in the Rider Waits row. Um, it's the four of wands. So basically that is what we're talking about. So knowing that we always have union in all time, spaces, dimensions, and realities, maybe it's not manifested yet in the physical, but knowing that if it's meant to be, if it's in accordance with divine will and timing, we will have it. So what is crossing us um, or 
serving as an obstacle, but also can be serving as something that makes us move forward is this Queen of Cups energy, where we're standing here with our cup overflowing of, with love and offering it to our beloved. All right, um, the crowning energy is the Knight of Cups. So either one or both of the beloveds are going to be in the place of wanting to offer their love to the other. So hopefully it's your beloved because most of you that come here to watch the readings are, I don't want to call it waiting, but waiting on um, the other twin to kind of step up to the plate and be a part of the union. All right, so what we have to work with this upcoming week is the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, so feeling very abundant, having enough prosperity and material possessions in order for us to, you know, enjoy life and not have to worry so much about the day-to-day. -day. Um, we have this abundance, we feel abundant, and we're just kind of basking in that and hoping that the next thing that comes into our life is the love that we desire from another. Now, in the recent past, we have the Six of Cups energy here, where it looks like we're kind of bored, like we might have all this love in our life, we might have love for ourselves and others, and we might know that our beloved loves us in other dimensions, but they're not showing it in the third dimension, so we're just kind of bored, and we're just like waiting for something new to happen in this union. In the near future, we have Page of Pentacles. So we do have someone coming forward with a message to us, possibly our beloved, but they're wearing a mask. So they're gonna be standing behind the mask. So they're still kind of shrouded by the 3D illusions that are out there that, you know, working nine to five is very important or that making enough money to buy a house is super important and it's more important than like spending time with your beloved. Um, that is, those are illusions. So you might get messages from your beloved that are masked. Um, so they do want to let you know that they're present in your life, that they're around, that they're thinking of you, but then they're going to mask it in that 3D illusion possibly. Now, what you're feeling is Ten of Cups. So you're feeling the love of your beloved. You're feeling like, wow, like we can have this beautiful union. Um, you know, we have it already. Let's just take advantage of it type of energy. So that's a beautiful energy to be in for the week. How others see you as Six of Wands. So this is the light worker that's very victorious, that is very positive and uplifting to others. So keep shining your light out there in the world. What your hopes and fears are is temperance. So you've been waiting a long time for things to manifest and you're hoping that it doesn't take much longer for this situation to unfold and manifest into a full physical and harmonious union with your beloved where you have all that you desire with them. Finally, the outcome card for the week is death. So this shouldn't be a scary thing. This could be death to that illusion. So it could be that the beloved comes to you with this mask um, telling you something is going on in the 3D but then also at the same time they are breaking down that template or they are coming out of that karmic situation so they may still be hiding behind it but the outcome here is that there will be a death and a rebirth so that there will be changes that are making their way into your physical reality i'm going to pull another card as a clarifier just to kind of see what kind of changes the death um, will bring like a, a new birth of what and we have the king of pentacles so a stronger counterpart possibly somebody who was the page of pentacles hiding behind that coin but then later they are emerging as a more confident version of themselves in the third dimension so able to move the union forward in some way shape or form with you this upcoming week because they are going through this type of death the spiritual death maybe the death of their ego like i mentioned maybe the death of the karmic situations that they've been in so those are all good energies so there's going to be some new changes upcoming for us this week let's look at the divine feminine spirit energy with the animal totem card 
heart energy with the power of love activation cards and then we have the gateway oracle card for the 3d mind and body energy so we have the spirit energy which is the soul the fifth dimensional higher self of the divine feminine is like the red squirrel here it says gather your resources now for they will sustain you through the coming changes so getting ready for fall and winter so getting your resources together knowing what to do if you feel triggered that might be one of the things that you might want to think about this week getting yourself ready in case your beloved does come to you with the message so that you do not react the same way you always have so just kind of like responding to them taking a few deep breaths before answering them coming from more of a heart space answer instead of an ego-based answer here we have the heart space of the divine feminine this upcoming week is individuality leaving her unique or his unique stamp of love on everything they do so remembering yes you're part of a union but you're also an individual with beautiful attributes all on your own and then also the 3D or mind energy, the ego will start to learn to listen with their heart, trusting the messages they receive from their heart and not believing all of those things that the ego tries to um, release. So fears and doubts and worries. When things are going well with our beloved, then we start worrying, well, you know, maybe this is too good to be true and, you know, maybe I shouldn't trust them. But trusting is very important. So knowing what's in our heart and believing that and going with that instead of what our mind is telling us for the divine masculine the upcoming week's spirit energy is the fox it says your sharpened senses allow you to observe the actions of others so the divine masculine spirit may just be kind of observing what's going on with the divine feminine this week their heart is really accepting. They are ready to release control of situations or people and just lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So instead of trying to think their way through things, they're going to just accept how they are. And there's a lot of green, so a lot of heart energy and a heart healing for the Divine Masculine this week. And then they are going to, in the third dimension exhibit, that they're trusting their intuition rather than their thoughts and their ego and knowing that their life is truly guided. So listening to their heart, listening to their soul, listening to their higher powers, guidance, instead of listening to the ego mind's um, defenses and doubts and worries and fears and just kind of going with the flow and following what they feel to be right in their heart. Those are great energies for both counterparts. As for the union, we have the parrot energy for the spirit, letting sunshine revitalize the soul and color transform the world. So beautiful energy. So taking in the beautiful sunlight, sunshine, let it wash over you and bathe your soul and clean your soul of any blockages this week. That'll, that'll help your union. That'll help the both of you. Both hearts are going to be expressing themselves, ready to manifest their thoughts and transform them into actions of love. So now joined at the heart chakra, you and your beloved are going to start to do things in the physical world that show that you love each other. And also in the physical world, the Gateway Oracle card says here, planting seeds. It says, seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul or our soul. So that to me means that you are realizing that you can plant seeds in the things that you desire can be like seeds that you give to your soul and ask your soul to help you manifest because your soul knows what's best for you and if it is in your greatest and highest good then your soul will help get that energy behind it and let your heart follow so that you can turn off that ego mind and follow your heart and soul to your destiny that your destiny is this union with your beloved twin flame all right and archangel michael i chose this card ahead of time after prayer and meditation i just divinely guided took a card and this was the one um, Archangel Michael's message is to spend more time outdoors. So we want to thank Archangel Michael this 
um, upcoming week, the first week of October, for motivating us to spend more time outdoors and for helping us relax and enjoy connecting with nature because connecting with nature is one way to ground ourselves and one way to calm ourselves when you know we're feeling these turbulent energies. So we have the full moon coming up. We may need to release some emotions, release some things in the full moon energy this week. So I'm sending you some Reiki healing to balance out your energy, to help you release what's no longer serving you along with the full moon on October 5th, which is Thursday. I will be doing a monthly reading and a full moon reading this month or this week. So look for those. Um, I hope to connect with you soon. Many blessings. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.